Okay, so hi and welcome to the Study Legal English podcast. Um, today I'm interviewing uh, Gloria Casanova Martinez and she's from the law firm Quatre Casas. Mm -hmm. So hi, Gloria. Mm -hmm. Thank you for coming on the show. Hi, Louise. Thank you for inviting me. Thank you. It's a pleasure. Thank you. Um, so um, tell me a little bit about the firm uh, that you work for. Well, I, I work in Quatre Casas, as you said. It's one of the most uh, well-known firms uh, here in Spain. In fact, it's the, the most important Iberian firm. Mm -hmm, um, mm -hmm. We have the two main offices in Barcelona and Madrid. Mm -hmm. And then we have the regional ones in in whole Spain and also Portugal. And other international uh, offices mm -hmm, around the mm -hmm, world. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Great, great. I, and I work in the in the office in Girona. Uh-huh, uh-huh, great. And um, so, and tell me specifically, what what um, what work do you do? Which department are you in? Uh, I work uh, basically in insolvency proceedings. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, here in Girona, we we take two roles in these proceedings, depending on 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 the the proceeding we're dealing with. Mm -hmm, uh, mm -hmm. One is being the lawyer of the company, so we prepare uh, the suit. Mm -hmm. uh, that is uh, the, the first step for the company to ask for the insolvency proceeding to, to be declared. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, when we are lawyers, then we, we, um, go with the company throughout the whole proceeding. Mm -hmm. Uh, so we make sure that the, the company's rights are, are well preserved during the, the whole proceeding. And the other role we, we can play in these proceedings is being the receiver. Mm -hmm. Uh, when we act as a receiver, we are appointed by the judge to to take care or to make sure that the the rules and the company's interests and the creditor's interests are are preserved during the whole the whole proceeding. Uh, to say it uh, in another way, we are like the right hand of the judge. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, and in this in this case, we we just make sure that everything is well done according to the the Spanish insolvency law. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, great. So um, maybe we'll we'll talk a little bit more about that in a minute. But so first of all, tell me a little bit as well about uh, legal English in your company. Is it important for the company? Yeah, sure. In fact, um, uh, Quatre Casas asks uh, for an advanced level to get into the firm as a lawyer, mm -hmm. uh, and it's necessary to to keep uh, working in in legal English and mm -hmm. in general English to to keep uh, improving our level because the firm and I I share this opinion things that uh, English is is really is essential mm -hmm, in mm -hmm. in our job and um, most of all when the, the, all the cases are getting more international mm -hmm. every day more global so we need to to be able to communicate and to talk with mates of any other country and mm -hmm. with clients of any country mm -hmm. uh, in English so we can give uh, good advice about Spanish law mm -hmm. in English too. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So we every two years we need to pass exams so we need to to keep uh, improving our mm -hmm. English. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Very good. And, um, and so do you deal with, are you dealing with international clients? How often do you deal with international clients? Well, it, it depends on the, the operation or, <clears throat> or in my case, it depends on, on the shareholders maybe are mm -hmm. from other countries mm -hmm. and you need to, to communicate them or maybe the creators are from around the world and you need to, to communicate and to, talk uh, mm -hmm. with them and obviously in English so yes. well it depends on the case we have uh -huh. there are some that are more national and you don't need to use English but other ones that you you need to use it to to make your your job uh -huh. Uh -huh. <laughs> yes very good very good um okay and um so let's go back uh, to, to to the work you do so talk me through the process from um, Maybe from, from when the court uh, appoints you as a receiver, what, what happens then? Well, in an ordinary proceeding, uh, there is the um, uh, first phase that mm -hmm. is called common phase in, mm -hmm. in insolvency law. 
Um, in this phase, what the receiver needs to do is a, a report about the, the company state. Mm -hmm. And the two main documents of this report are the list of uh, the assets of the company and the list of the creditors. Mm -hmm. Once uh, this is fixed, this um, list of the assets and, and the creditors are are mm, definitive. Mm -hmm. Defined. Defined, mm -hmm. yeah. Uh, then this phase is closed and mm -hmm. we, here we have two options. The, um, the one that is the, the, the aim of the, the insolvency law, the, the most mm, prior, prior one. Yeah, the priority. The, the priority way mm -hmm. to, mm -hmm. to go through. It's, uh, the, um, the agreement phase. Mm -hmm. In this phase, uh, in the, 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 in the list of the creators that we talk, about we have different uh, types of creators mm -hmm. the privileged ones mm -hmm. that are treated treated differently mm -hmm. the ordinary ones mm -hmm. and the subordinated ones mm -hmm. once we go to this um, agreement phase um, the the aim of this agreement phase is to reach an agreement with the ordinary creators mm -hmm. so the company makes a proposal of the of agreement mm -hmm. uh, that can um, that can contain a write-off of their credits and uh, an, an, some installments uh, from five years to ten years mm -hmm, that mm -hmm. could be paid or less from zero years mm -hmm. to ten years, mm -hmm. I would say. Uh, so depending on the terms of this on, of this agreement of this proposal, uh, it's needed uh, one percentage or another of the the votes of the creditors to mm -hmm. make it to be approved. Mm -hmm, okay. Mm -hmm. um, so once this proposal is made, mm -hmm. the judge appoints points a, a day, uh, a date to make the the, the meeting of the creditors, mm -hmm. so they mm -hmm. they can vote in favor or against mm -hmm. the the proposal, and if it uh, has uh, enough votes, votes enough mm -hmm. to to approve it, then the the judge uh, makes a ruling. Mm -hmm. um, Saying that uh, this this agreement has been approved by the creditors, and um, the effects of the insolvency procedure finishes there. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay. Do do um do the creditors have to be present at this vote? Can it be? Can no, they vote? It's it's unnecessary. We have different options. Um, once the day, once a day, the date, it's it's uh, point mm -hmm. by the court. Mm -hmm. You can wait and go to the this meeting and mm -hmm. vote uh, live there, mm -hmm. or previously you can go to the court mm -hmm. and uh, say to the to the court what's your vote, mm -hmm. so they mm -hmm. take note about it mm -hmm. to to say it in in the. Um, in the meeting, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. or you can go to the notary mm -hmm. and make a an, an notary vote, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and then the company takes all the votes make, uh, given in the notary and brings it to the court the day of the the, the meeting. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So this, there are many options to to vote. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> you don't need to be present there. Uh huh. And um, and so, what happens if the creditors approve this 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 agreement? What happens next? What happens next? What happens next is that, uh, the, as I said, the effects of the insolvency proceedings finishes. Mm -hmm. It doesn't mean that the insolvency proceeding has uh, is concluded. Mm -hmm. it's, it's closed. It's closed mm -hmm. because uh, you need to wait until all the pays, all, all the payments, all the installments mm -hmm. are are made. Mm -hmm. But in fact, the, the company can act in the market normally. Mm -hmm, uh, mm -hmm. The receiver is not acting anymore in this company, so the the administrator can be whoever mm -hmm. the company wa wants. And the only thing that they need to, to take into account is that uh, the the company needs to make the the payments as in, they have been approved by the ju judge. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And every six months, uh, the company needs to file a report. Mm -hmm. Into the court, uh, saying um, how they are, uh, how the company is, is accomplishing with the uh, with the agreement. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And what about if the creditors, if they don't agree, what happens then? Uh, if the creditors don't agree with the with the proposal made, 
then it's necessarily open the way of liquidation of winding mm -hmm. up the company. Mm -hmm. Uh, once this uh, liquidation phase is declared, the, the administrator of the company is removed mm -hmm. of, of his charge. Mm -hmm. And uh, the only one being administrator and liquidator is the, the receiver. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, then once uh, the receiver is, is, is there to liquidate a company, um, And well, when we act as the receivers, we need to make a plan mm -hmm. uh, to sell the whole assets of the company. Mm -hmm. uh, the the priority way or the priority method that the law, the insolvency law, uh, asks for us to mm -hmm. to to plan or to to set. It's to sell the whole productive unit mm -hmm, um, mm -hmm. to someone in the in the market. So mm -hmm. we need to open um, um, a period of time mm -hmm. where other companies can can make offers to 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 buy this this productive unit. Mm -hmm. If this is not possible, then we need to um, to regulate how. All these, the assets of the company are going to be sold mm -hmm. separately. Mm -hmm. So we need to, to make this plan, uh, well mm, defined. Mm -hmm. So then we need to, um, file into the court the plan. It's approved by the judge. And once it's approved, you start executing them until you sell uh, all the assets of the company mm -hmm. and you close the, the proceeding. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And what are some, why wouldn't creditors agree to, ag agree to the proposal? What, what would be some why of the wouldn't? reasons? Yeah. Maybe the, um, that, that this could be two options. Mm -hmm. One mm -hmm. that they don't trust in the, um, in the, Company or in the provisions of the company mm -hmm. of of their of their mm, their capability or, the, mm -hmm. yeah the, the economical mm -hmm. viability of the company mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and they don't trust it and they don't want to give uh, this opportunity and the other one would be the terms of the of the the content of the of the agreement mm -hmm. maybe they they could find it to aggressive I mean, mm -hmm. if there's a, a big write-off or they need to wait 10 years to mm -hmm. get it paid back depending on the case they prefer not to not to give their vote mm -mm -mm. Yeah. usually it's it's um it's the, the way that the creditors can uh get more money back mm -hmm. is uh going to to an agreement mm -hmm. because mm -hmm. otherwise in the liquidation phase um there the, the money that that comes from the from the liquidation is not that much mm -hmm. so it, it, you don't have money enough to pay the creators mm -hmm. of the company mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so the the thing i think the the key of the of the the agreement is that the the vi the viability or mm -hmm. the, yes. the provisions of of the company of mm -hmm. the running of the company uh, are are real or not. yeah yeah whether it's a realistic mean. yeah mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. expectation um and um what sort of complications can arise in the proceedings are there any things that can yeah, be complicated? well in the going uh, uh, a bit um okay. backward mm -hmm, yeah mm -hmm. in the common phase one of the um, of the key points is when we make the list of the creators mm -hmm. or the assets, it, these lists can be, um, can be, um, how to say, uh, questioned mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. by, by the creators or, or people who have interests in, in this, in these lists. Mm -hmm. Uh, in the case of the, um, List of the creators, uh, the creator can say or can claim, uh, to the judge for, for their, their credit. Mm -hmm. So they can say mm -hmm. that the amount or, or the classification mm -hmm. of the credit is not correct. Mm -hmm. So, um, once it happens, uh, the, the judge, um, notifies it to the receiver mm -hmm. and the receiver can say if, uh, if they agree or not. Or mm -hmm. don't with mm -hmm. with this um, claim, 
claim of the of the crater mm -hmm. and then it starts uh, like little proceeding into the the main proceeding yes. to discuss about this point mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and this is one of the complications or, mm -hmm. or difficulties that we can find in this mm -hmm. in, in this proceeding mm. and um, so for example is it like a, a subordinated creditor might say that they actually are a a preferential creditor for example that would yeah. be one case uh -huh. that depending on the the kind of the of the um, the credit mm -hmm. they would maybe this the the one that the receiver has uh, classified as subordinate might think that uh, he's not a subordinate mm -hmm. that should be an ordinary or a privileged one mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and then there's a um, um, a, a a discussion mm -hmm, mm -hmm. about it in yes. legal terms, yeah, yeah and the yeah. interpretation of of the the rule of the mm -hmm, law mm -hmm. in applied to this case. Mm -hmm. um, very good. And um, so, what, uh, what 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 do you enjoy about this work? Well, what I enjoy the most, mm -hmm. well, as I said, there is there are two two ways that mm -hmm. um, these proceedings can can be finished. And what I like the most is when we we are able to make a company surviving mm -hmm. this proceeding. That yeah, unfortunately there are not many cases of this, mm -hmm. and it's quite common in Spain that the companies that go into a, an insolvency procedure go to liquidation mm -hmm. because maybe the the proceeding is not well used by the companies, and they wait too much to get into it, mm -hmm. and then it's difficult to make it, them su to survive yes. to this. But the, um, the cases where we, we can get the company, uh, survive and keep mm -hmm. uh, acting in the market and mm -hmm. we can preserve all the, the, the employees, uh, mm -hmm. um, on. <laughs> yes, yes. That's, well, that's the, the, the part that I enjoy the most. Yes. Because yes. Like, the, you see, you can contribute in the in society in some way. Yes, it's, yes. It's nice. <laughs> yes, yeah, quite satisfying, fulfilling. Yeah, yeah. Very good. Um, and um, what about, um, so you mentioned that what one part of your job is is acting as a receiver mm -hmm. and then the other part is your, like, you know, day-to-day -day being a lawyer. What what sort of things do you do as as in the other part of your work? Um, when we act as, as lawyers in, in these proceedings, mm -hmm. um, there are two main points in, during the proceeding. Mm -hmm. One is, uh, at the beginning that mm -hmm. you need to, uh, prepare the, the all the, the, the mm -hmm. suit mm -hmm. to get into the, the court. And there are many, um, many points we need to, uh, to prepare uh, mm -hmm. that are required by the law. Uh, so we need to make, this provisional list of assets and list of creditors and um, accomplish all, all the other mm -hmm. things that that law um, requires mm -hmm. and this is uh, the, a big part and you need to prepare it well so m to make the the receiver to to trust you and trust mm -hmm. the information make mm -hmm. it clear make it uh, complete, mm -hmm. so then you can have uh, a good relation with the receivership and, and with the receiver, receiver, and make the the whole process uh, easier. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Because the the point here is that you have a bad if you have a bad sue at the beginning, mm -hmm. then it gets a bit more complicated. Mm -hmm. But if you in the beginning um, can make it clear and mm -hmm. and easier for for the receiver and and for the client and everything it goes easier yes yeah yeah, yeah. and Prefer then you need to to be ready to uh to attend any request of the receiver during the the proceeding and and make the the this this way so mm -hmm. with mm -hmm. the client mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. very good okay and um let's talk just a little bit about why you became a lawyer and mm -hmm. perhaps a little bit about law in Spain. So, um, what, what, why did you become a lawyer? Uh, well, in fact, I started studying the law degree mm -hmm. because, well, it's a bit of idealistic, uh, yeah. 18 year. Uh -huh. <laughs> yes, you're <laughs> just. <laughs> yeah, the ideal of 
justice and also to understand a bit more the world that mm -hmm. surrounds us. Because mm -hmm. it's, well, mm -hmm. that, that, that's what I thought when I chose mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. to study law. Mm -hmm. uh, and then I had the, the chance uh, when I was in the fifth year mm -hmm. of, the, of my degree to, to go into an internship mm -hmm. in the firm I'm working now mm -hmm. in Quattro Casas. Mm -hmm. um, So I, I stayed there for some months and I could see how the, the job was and mm -hmm, what it was mm -hmm. about. And, and I could take part into different cases that were, were running in that moment. Yes. And well, I, I liked the job. I liked the, the activity uh -huh, and, uh -huh. <laughs> and, uh, and all this stuff. And well, then I had the opportunity to, to stay uh -huh. in the firm once I finished uh, my degree. Uh -huh. And well, I decided to, mm. to go for it. And mm -hmm. here I am five years later. <laughs> very good, very good. And how does it work in Spain? Because in the UK, um, Mm, it's sort of changing at the moment, but uh, it has been that you do a degree, you do your three, normally three years, then um, you do a short course if you want to become a solicitor rather than a, a barrister. Um, so you do a sh short, a, a year course, and then you get something called a training contract, which l normally lasts two years within a law firm and you train mm -hmm. and then you become a newly qualified solicitor. Oh. Is that sort of similar? Here it, it works a bit differently. Mm -hmm. uh, well, when I did it in, in my period of time, it was absolutely different mm -hmm. because I did five years degree mm -hmm. and then you got into the bar association mm -hmm. that you mm -hmm. wanted, that you chose, and then you could start um, looking for for a job as a mm. lawyer mm -hmm. and if you wanted to be um well we could do the um, um the course to be uh, like an official lawyer the the ones mm -hmm. that that are in in this list and for people who doesn't have um Uh, enough uh, money to uh, hire one okay. they, like legal aid we call it when yeah. it when it's sort of um, um, for, for, for people who, who can't afford legal services mm -hmm. Government subsidized. Yeah, like, kind yeah, of this, yeah. this mm -hmm. list. That you, you had these two options. You could do this course to mm -hmm. get into this list and start from this point or just start looking for, for another, another way. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. But, uh, some years ago it changed. Mm -hmm. Now the degree is four years degree. Mm -hmm. Then you need to make a, a master. Mm -hmm. that it's um, compulsory to be done. Mm -hmm. And once you finish this master, that takes, I think, one year and a half, mm -hmm. you need to pass an exam, an official exam, to mm -hmm. to get uh, uh, the lawyer's title, to mm -hmm. say, some way. And then you choose the bar association where you want to, to belong and, and keep on. But, well, mm, that's it. Now mm -hmm. we have this exam. We have one less year of the of the degree, mm -hmm. and but this master that, that needs to be done. So, well. mm -hmm. and um, and when you mentioned that you did this internship in the UK, we we have something that's normally done in like your third year at university, which is called like a vacation scheme, which is you you apply to a law firm and you do like normally it's about two weeks work experience within the law firm. Is that sort of what you did? Uh, like, well, uh, what in my case, uh -huh. it was uh, voluntary. Mm -hmm. Yes, in yeah, yeah. At that moment. And you could choose well, the university offered many places and also if you find uh, if you found another place to go another law firm mm -hmm. uh, they could arrange um, um, a deal with the university mm -hmm. to, to make it too and it was uh, for law firms and also for uh, the court and other official mm -hmm. um, organisms that had relation with with law mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, It was in, in my time. <laughs> I mm -hmm. think uh, now, well, they have uh, these compulsory internships. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So they need to, the students need to find somewhere to to do this, this internship mm -hmm. and get mm -hmm. some practice. And mm -hmm. now it's compulsory. Okay. Mm -hmm. yes, yeah, yeah. So to get the master done and to get uh, the access to, to the exam, you need to do this. This internship. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Mm. 
I um, haven't done it, so maybe yes. there are some points that I'm missing, but uh, no, in general terms, it works like uh-huh, that. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Okay, great, great. Um, so um, what, uh, just just to, to sort of finish off, what, uh, what, what are the plans for your firm in the future or what, 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 what do you, how do you see yourself going in the future? Mm-hmm. Difficult to say. <laughs> <laughs> no. But, well, in my case, uh, uh, I'm lucky because I'm, uh, you know, in a big firm. Uh-huh, uh-huh. So I have many, many options mm-hmm. and possibilities. Uh, something that is required to, to lawyers is to, well, to have plans of future in terms of, of business in, mm-hmm. in the company. Mm-hmm. And well with my team we're trying to to make our project grow. Mm-hmm. And mm-hmm. then well maybe in my case I would I would lead or I would uh keep with the, the insolvency proceedings and maybe also with some uh mediation mm-hmm. Uh, mm-hmm. yes in cases. Mm-hmm. Uh, well, now I'm, I'm trying to get specialized in this in this area, mm-hmm. and we'll see how to mm. how we we explode. It mm-hmm. when we, we use it then in in our team, but well, uh, in fact, as we our our job is is life as mm-hmm. as the market and yes. as the world is. So maybe well, we need to pay attention on what's happening around us, and we need to change or to adapt to yes. to our surroundings yes yeah difficult to predict what will <laughs> good okay excellent thank you so much for coming on the show thank and, you uh, <laughs> brilliant so um good thank you very much thank you Louise. <laughs>